To create a new play with Fast Draw, simply go to Play, New Play from the top menu, or select New Play button about halfway across the screen, just below the top menu. Either way, you'll get this dialog box come up, and you can type in the play name. We'll go double drag. And in Team, the first time you use it, you'll only have Unknown, but you can simply click Add and type in any team. So we can say Southeast Melbourne. And now we'll automatically add the team in, and by default, put it to the bottom of the list. The series, we're going to run this out of Horn Set, which I've already created, but again, you can simply add it the same way. Type would usually be play, but we'll start with the building block and I'll show you how a building block can be used to create a play and make your life easier moving forward. With the season, we'll have the option of next season, generally available after the 1st of June, the current season and previous seasons. Simply select the one that you want to work with and it will base it off that. Court type, you'll see some different options. So you'll see the court for WNBA, NBA, FIBA and some other options. Simply select the one that's best for you and your team. With the region, you'll have full court, back court, full court. Generally, full court would only be for training drills, full court, press, offense, defense, or something like that. Otherwise, back court and full court, it's entirely up to you for preference. I prefer full court for offense, back court for defense. Some coaches prefer it for different things. Options for including out of bounds you can have just the left side, just the right side. If you untick the last one, it'll remove everything. Then when you select it again, you'll see everything, but you can simply select and unselect the ones you want to see. Call contents will show or hide certain things. So you can hide the lanes, or the lane markings, three point line, depending on what's best for your team. Once you're happy, simply select OK. And because we were in the plays tab, but we've created a building block, it's saying we need to update the filter. Say yes, and it'll just take you to building blocks. Now, the first thing you want to do is start to enter information in. So. One way is to go in and go past add, say player two has a ball and it automatically puts everyone there. Another option is to manually drag and drop players on by just left clicking and releasing them where you want them. Or we can click this button here, fast add, and we can left click to drop a player and right click to drop them with the ball. Once you get through all five, it'll take you automatically to the edit cursor. Now, we're going to run this out of a horn set, so I'll just do this. I'll drag them to rearrange, which I'll put on that side. Now, if I want player one to have the ball, click on the player you want to have the ball, click the give ball button, and it moves it there for you. Now, one thing you can do at this point is right click and fast defense. You can add circle defenders, or you can add text defenders. Now, by default, they'll start one step basket side of their matchup. So it's not going to read that, you know, if the ball's over here, you know, one pass away rules or help defense. It's not going to set that up for you, but you can easily drag and drop them to put them wherever you want. You can also, so if I go back, if you've got the X3 or colors, you can click on the color button and say you're playing a team that wears red or your alternate jerseys are red and your home team jerseys are black. You can set them up so it's easier to see red versus black. Now, the next thing you'll do is you want to add actions. So on the left-hand side, you'll see different actions. The way I prefer to do this is simply clicking, dragging, and dropping the action you want, such as a curve or an angle. Then selecting the, when you, when you drop the action, you'll have the option of a screen, cut, dribble, or pass. Select the one you want, and then the green squares will be the start and end points, while the yellow circle is just you know, how wide or sharp they curve. Now, the other option is to go here and use the fast motion button where you can click and if you hold it and then change direction, it goes into angles. If you don't like what you have, you can click the X, you can drag and go straight. And again, where you start dragging from and when you release, that's what it will draw. You can curve it a little bit. If you curve it a couple of times again, if you hover over, it will change it to an angle. Now, I prefer using this option here, but you can see the options you have available to you. You also have the option to click on a stencil, control C or command if you're using a Mac, and then control B or command if you're using a Mac again to copy and paste. You can also right click, copy, cut or paste the stencil. 
you can delete it the same way you can just click on it and press the delete button you also have the option to change it to a cut or something else so if you've selected the wrong option you can easily go in and change that now the next thing you can do after you've set up a building block i'll just add this dribble in to finish it off so we'll say double drag is to change sides of these two screens now we've created our building block it's called double drag now if we want to create a new play i'll hop over to the new tabs button i click a new play and in the new play name we'll just say double drag flip so now this is going to be a play we'll say we're running it for go with the same team out of a horn set and say okay so by default it's going to filter that down but we'll remove all this so you'll see there's no other option out of southeast melbourne except for the one we've just created in plays what we just created was a building block which is shown here now if we get into our new play horns double drag flip from the left hand side we can click building blocks horns and double drag that we just created if we click on that the first frame automatically sets that up now if you're going to run a few different actions out of this horns double drag so the horns formation double drag action this will save you a lot of time instead of having to what we just did set them all up and run these actions you can just drop the building block in and then we can move on to the next frame now instead of having to manually move players to where they are we have a feature fast build where you simply click on the frame you're working on click fast build and the next frame that's unused will automatically update based on where these players end so one dribbled from there to here so now player one is here with the ball four stepped up and set the screen here five over here and that's it so it automatically sets that up now what i'll do before i move on is i will copy this frame to the clipboard paste the frame there and i'll show you why in a moment now if let's say the flip action is four just sets across screen the five to curl back and set an on ball screen so we're just trying to get this let's say that this is what you refer to as a flip action so that one can drive down the middle of the key you just adjust that as you see fit and then four is going to pop and five is going to roll to the basket let's just say that's the play that we've created and we want to show the end point we can click fast build but because there is a frame afterwards with stuff on there it's saying it's not empty do you want to insert or overwrite obviously we'll overwrite because i didn't want that there in the first place but that shows you that if you've gone on to the next frame and there's something there it will give you the option to look at it before just deleting it for you now some of the other options you have available with the diagrams and creating plays is the dribble handoff so you know maybe it was running here coming off the screen running a handoff you can easily set that up there change that to a cut so change stencil to a cut and zone four is coming off for a handoff so you can easily set that up that way generally for training you can use cones you know this might be a goal that you're using it might be you can set that up however you like really if you've got multiple baskets and you can use that to turn the angle so if you've got a gym with multiple baskets around you can set that up if you're doing circuits and you want to set up you know the ball sitting on top of the cone or dribble around and you've got different things going on you can use that as an icon for the ball you can use the text by just dragging and dropping and then you can add text within the actual diagram itself which you can just say you know whatever you want really but or pop every time do not enter 3.1 so that might be a main thing you want to highlight that you always want to keep that space but something that you don't have to use in there you can use here is you can double click on the bottom and set up a description so like we said for away screen five five sprint to on ball for pick and roll so that's a description for the frame whereas this is just some extra text now that might be more likely these are options so five may roll or pop or two might lift or whatever you like but that text will be on the actual frame whereas this is a description to the frame hopefully that helps you get set up with fast drive if you have any questions feel free to reach out to support at fastballsports.com thank you